What's going on, fam club? As you probably well already know, Sword and Shield alternate arts and even now trainer gallery cards have just been going to the moon lately. I've been trying to grab my favorites while the prices were great, but now it's just getting really hard to justify. With packs from Sword and Shield getting harder to find cheap and TCG players' cash back sale that was last Friday, it's only making things worse. Cards I was trying to grab just last week have already moved so much. Anyways, it got me to thinking, what's left? What's been missed that's both budget-friendly and hasn't gone to the moon already? So I put together a list of 10 Sword and Shield cards that I think still fit the bill. I also want to hear your thoughts on cards that you think have been slept on. So leave your recommendations in the comments and let's get to it. All right, guys. So as I said in the intro last week with the impending TCG player mayhem sale, I started looking at what cards I wanted to pick up from Sword and Shield. I've been mostly focused on trying to complete my Vivid Voltage, my Evolving Skies, my Lost Origin, and my uh, Crown Zenith sets. One card that I was really hard going after was the Gold Kiratina V from Crown Zenith, which has just gone astronomically high already i don't know what it's up it's like i saw one go for a hundred bucks today i was trying to get one for about 60 bucks just two weeks ago i even won an auction or i won uh i bid it on one not bid i buy i did a buy it now for 60 bucks the guy canceled it on me he's probably gonna relist it and sell it for more now that it's just gone to the moon it's super annoying uh so i was just hunting for cards last week and, and i thought about you know what as I move through all of these cards from high value to low, you know, all of these are fantastic cards. These alternate arts from Sword and Shield are just phenomenal. We we know they started taking off with like the Umbreon V quite a few while ago. That that just started going crazy, but they're all going crazy. Market price for Sylveon V Max, it was like a hundred bucks not that long ago. Now we're looking at two hundred dollars. I bought a PSA 10 for two hundred dollars. So it's just absolutely crazy. So a few cards I was looking at last week that I would have recommended last week, and now it's hard to justify. Uh, Galarian Slow King B. This I just love the artwork on this card. Fantastic uh, artwork by this artist. They do a lot of these very trippy card artworks. I picked one of these up for thirty bucks just about a week ago, and you can see here on the month, month one month chart on TCG Player, it was about twenty eight dollars a month ago. Now we're up to forty dollars. You're looking at 38.44. This isn't a card I'm recommend recommending today. It's gone up 25%, uh, and it's up to you. If you haven't bought this by now, I assume it's just not for you. Even the three month chart was about 28 bucks S six months ago. Within the last six months, it hit a low of about 26 bucks, and uh, you know it's about back up where it was a year ago. So 40 bucks. That's just an example of a card. Another card that I bought about a week or two ago was a Mimikyu V. I just absolutely love the artwork on this card. You know, he's looking at it, he's watching a scary movie. The popcorn's down here. You got a little Gengar on the table. Um, you know, Acerola's here coming in and, and seeing that he's watching a scary movie. It's just a super cool looking card. A month ago, we're looking at 12 bucks. I bought it for $13 like two weeks ago. Now it's, the market price is $30. I think that the TCG player sale has a little bit to do with this. Uh, people are definitely going to be buying them up. You can come in. The sale was on the 17th. If you look at that, all these people buying on the 17th, the first person got one at about 1226 And then, I don't know, people just started skyrocketing. Or actually, that's a lightly played, so ignore that one. 30 bucks, 30 bucks. Um, just absolutely crazy. That's a heavily played 21 bucks. I picked mine up on eBay for about $13. If I start to see cards skyrocket on TCG player that I've been trying to hunt down, and this is one of them to complete my set, um, I, I immediately start hunting over on eBay because you can, there's usually a buy it now that that's, you know, a little behind. Another card that I absolutely love is the, the VMAX version. Another fantastic artwork. Again, though, not recommending this in the last month. It went from 12 bucks. It's doubled to 24 bucks almost. Uh, you can pick one up for 24 bucks plus shipping. Gorgeous card. Trainer gallery card. People been just sleeping on them and now they're starting to skyrocket. Things are cyclical. These could come down. There's only 29 listings right now. So as far as TCG player goes, it's a little bit dried up. 
we can probably come in here and look at the 17th. Quite a few sales around that $20 mark, $25 mark for the near mints. 26, yeah, about 26. Well, you can see a lot of sales happened on the 17th here because people were taking advantage of that 10 to 13%. 13% was for the members. Um, another card, I think we might be getting into the 10 now. Inteleon VMAX, absolutely phenomenal looking alternate art. It's a VMAX, so it's more rare than the Vs. He's doing his VMAX move here, Gigantamax. And uh, it's just a very cool looking card. It's not skyrocketed a ton yet, about $21.45 a month ago, up to $26.20. It's only moved about $5. So this is one of the ones that I've been watching for quite a while. There's just so many things I want. I have not grabbed this myself, but it is one I could recommend because I just think it's a fantastic artwork. As always, you should buy whatever you think is fantastic. These are just some of my suggestions today. So, you know, check them out. Take it with a grain of salt. Decide what you think. On a super budget-friendly card, this Blissey V Trainer Gallery from Silver Tempest has is just a phenomenal-looking card. It's got Pokemon Center Lady in it. She's from the beginning of Pokemon. you got to love her. If you watch the anime, it's Nurse Joy, of course. And, um, you know, if you collect the cards, it's the Pokemon Center Lady. Or if you play the games, I don't know if they ever call her Nurse Joy in the games. That's probably just for the anime. But please let me know and correct me if I'm wrong. I just think this card's awesome. I think Blissey's awesome. I think this is fantastic looking artwork. It's it's not really moved at all. It Silver Tempest is like the last sword and shield that there's still tons out there and people haven't gone crazy. There's 116 of these. You can get them for five bucks right now. I think that's a great price for this great looking artwork and, and great looking card. Uh, I picked up one myself just uh, to have in my collection because I do love this. Then we got the Pikachu secret card, the only real secret card from Crown Zenith. Uh, fantastic. Has not moved much at all. $7.60 to 10 bucks. I love this artwork. All these prime players from um, Sword and Shield era and Pikachu front and center. Just absolutely phenomenal artwork. I'm assuming everyone has this in this set. For $10, everyone should have this. It's, a, it's just fantastic. Definitely pick one up. There's 66 listed still. Let's see, how did it do on the 17th? People are picking them up. Look at look at this. People are grabbing them like crazy on the 19th. They If they picked them up on the 17th, it, not only you would have saved a buck off of your $10 for getting that 10% cash back, uh, but as you can see, tons, tons of sales. These move like hotcakes. Like I said, fantastic artwork. Everyone should have this card. Another card that I really love is this all art from Lost Origin. Lots of people love Lost Origin. Lots of people want to master the set. This is one of the rare alternate arts that you can pick up, and it's under twenty dollars. Galarian Berserker, super cute here. It's a it's a pretty good artwork. It's not my favorite artwork of all of them, but you gotta have it. Uh, there's only twenty eight listed right now. That's very few. A couple of these are Japanese. We're looking at about twenty dollars shipped. It's been that for quite a while. It's gotten as low as about fifteen bucks. Um, fifteen bucks is about as low as it's ever gotten. So if you if you pick one up now at about 19, 20 bucks, you're not really paying more of a premium because of all the craziness, craziness that's been going on. So that's why I have it in my list. There's still time to get it before any more craziness happens to this card. Could it drop down to 15 bucks? Sure. Is it going to drop down much lower than that? I would be surprised. I would think Pokemon would be in pretty, pretty big trouble if it, if it dropped much lower than that. Um, so you just have to decide. Another card from Sword and Shield base set that I absolutely love the artwork on is Snorlax VMAX. This is a regular card in the regular component of the set, but it's still a super, super cool card. Ignore this direct by TCG player, 50 bucks. Uh, you can get one. Got to skip over the Chinese and the Japanese. It's going for about 16, 17 bucks right now. Um, it's a little inflated. I don't think it's moved a ton though in the last month. We can see it was about 10 it's gone up five five bucks, so it's about thirty percent move. So this is on the borderline about as to whether or not you uh, think that the craziness has, has impacted it. Um, this and the Rainbow Snorlax, I both have in my collection. I just think they're really cool looking V Max cards. So um, that's why I have it on my list here. Not not too inflated. It's seen a low of about ten bucks. Uh, hasn't really been too much lower than that. 955 way back in uh, October of last year. 
So uh, I don't know. Let's see. How, how did it move on the 17th? Lots of people picking them up. Some people paid 18, 20, 21 bucks this guy paid. So people are willing to pay 20 bucks for this guy. Super cool card. You can pick him up for, like I said, about 16 bucks. Maybe you can find a better deal on eBay. But super awesome card. That's why I included it on the list. Next is the Honchkrow V alternate art. Just uh, a fantastic artwork on this alternate art. Super cheap. Hasn't moved too much. Seven, seven bucks up to 10 bucks. Uh, you can pick one up for 10 bucks, shipping included right now. Super cute with the Murkrow down here all around. It's like a, a mama honchcrow or, or a papa honchcrow with all, all the little babies around. Just a fantastic aura. I love this card, and it's super cheap for an, for an alternate art. Uh, you know, get it. Get it for your Brilliant Stars collection. There's, there's quite a few listings here, about 70. And uh, let's see what happened. Not too many sold, so I think it's kind of a slept-on artwork, in my opinion. Well, I take that back. Quite a few sold on the 17th, mostly around that $10 mark. And what I say, that's about what it is now, so not too inflated so far. Again, what do you guys think? I love this artwork. Next up, Duraludon V alternate art. Again, another artwork that I just absolutely love. I love food and Pokemon. They're eating this delicious-looking meal here with Raihan. Fantastic. Uh, I picked one of these up myself. 11 bucks. It's up to 13. You can pick one up for 15, I guess, about right now. Um, you might be able to find a deal and get one for 13. But what do you guys think of this card? I've, I've seen some hate for it. You got the Rotom phone here. I just think it's a fa fantastic artwork. Looks looks really cool to me. And uh, one I wanted to have on the list because I don't think it's been affected too much. And it is a great card. Next up, Isuian Lil Liligant V. Another fantastic artwork with all the other Pokemon here. And she's ice skating. Um, just super cool. Just love this card. Um, let's see. Market price right now is 15 bucks. It's a month ago, it was about $9.50. That, that's crazy cheap. 10 bucks. 10 bucks is about the lowest it's been. A year ago, fourteen fifty-five. It's it's gone up a buck in a year. You can probably find a deal. This is a, a little high when you add in five dollars shipping. People need to do the sixty-five cent shipping. You might be able to get a good deal on eBay on this card. There's only twenty-three listings right now, so people need to load up. How did it do on the seventeenth? Quite a bit. Here's a nineteen dollar nineteen. Um, load some more, 16 bucks, 16 bucks. Yeah, quite a few sales on, some people got as good a deal as like 12, not that one. Yeah, 12 bucks with a picture. Let's see how, uh, yep, <laughs> pretty off-centered. Gotta have that picture if you're gonna be that, that badly off-centered. Super gorgeous card. Love this card. Who doesn't have this card? <laughs> what do you guys think? Definitely let me know what you think of these picks. Next up, Pokemon Center Lady from Vivid Voltage. Like I said before, she's classic. Um, you know, she's timeless. This card has seen a bottom of about eleven fifty. You can basically pick it up for the bottom price. This is Vivid Voltage. You think uh, there's going to be a lot of Vivid Voltage rips in the future? There's 17, 72 listings right now. I picked up one. Let's see. A decent amount on the 17th during the sale. People went, uh, yeah, about 12 bucks on average here. Super cool looking artwork, super cool card. One of the most important trainers or characters in the in the games, in the anime, in the TCG. Uh, that's why I made the list here for me. Next up, we got Genesec V Alternate Art. I just love the artwork here. You know, he's breakdancing. Super cool looking Pokemon. Super cool looking artwork. In the last month, it's gone from 18 bucks. Sorry. 13 bucks up to 18, 18, 19 dollars. I picked one up yesterday. It was on eBay. I paid 13. I think I paid 13 and a buck shipping. And uh it was a good deal. Of course, there was a picture and it looked in perfect condition to me. We'll see how it looks when it shows up in my house. Super awesome artwork. Uh, 
on the 17th, quite a bit were sold for in the $18 range. Um, we've gone past the 17. So, yeah, this is definitely an alternate art fusion strike. Fusion strikes taken off. Um, super cool card. Very budget friendly. If you're looking to add add this guy to your collection, might be a good time. And last but not least, Reggie Drago V alternate art from Silver Tempest. It's still fairly low. I think the artwork is fantastic again. And there's this super cool bright sky up here with Lugia flying across. It's almost like an ode to Lugia. If you're a Lugia lover, you got to pick up this card. The current market price is $18.73. A month ago, it was at $12. Bucks. So it has gone up 30, 30 40%. And, uh, you know, it's one that I think could get worse. That, that's just my personal opinion. I could be absolutely wrong. We're, we're all just up here guessing, right? We're looking for the things that might be moving. So many. Look how many sold on the 17th. Absolutely crazy. That's damage. 16 bucks, 16 bucks all day. Uh, some 18. Did anyone break 20? Did anyone pay 20 for this guy? Someone got close. 1944. Here we go. 120 right there. Another 20. Another 20. A 22.55 the day after the sale ended. Someone was like, I better get one now. There's 38 listed. As these sell, people will load them back up. So I don't know if you can always take this with a grain of salt. But if it's a high number, then it's probably telling you that there, there's uh, quite a bit out there. And uh, you can always look at how fast it's moving on the view more data here. So that's my list. I think those are fantastic cards. Let me know what you guys think of those cards. But also, I'd really love to hear your opinion on what cards you think we all should be looking at and picking up right now, trying to find deals on to get them in our collection before it's too late. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'm going to draw the winner of the Ivysaur and the Bulbasaur illustration rare in tomorrow's video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And I'll catch you in the next video.